Now, one of the most important things to remember when creating a nature garden or uh, any sort of ecological project that you want to undertake, you have to realise what ecology is already there. You have to work with nature. You can't just bulldoze what's already there and, and try and create a heathland habitat. You know, if a heathland habitat isn't suited to what you're trying to achieve. Now, here at Weldon Park, we were very lucky because there's already quite a lot of um, woodland type habitat. Now, don't be fooled. A lot of this uh, vegetation here is actually a, what we call sycamore tree or Acer platanoides. Now, that's actually a, a tree from Canada. That's not a UK no native tree. However, it does support wildlife, not as much as native wildlife. However, um, it, it is very good. It does provide a certain amount of cover, and this is a typical woodland edge or ecotone habitat. You know, some of the most rich habitats there are are the transitional zones between, say, woodland, meadow, um, and here we have a typical woodland edge um, habitat, um, and we've seeded this with a hedgerow, hedgerow wildflower seed mix, trying to encourage the transition between shady grassland um, to uh, scrubland um, and then onto woodland. And these transitional zones are the most biodiverse spaces. So to try and encourage that, we've planted a few um, hazel trees, hazelnuts, uh, Corylus avalana is very good. It, you know, the, the nuts in the autumn time, um, certain uh, burrowing insects burrow into the leaves of the hazel. So ultimately, try and have a think about that when you're out in the landscape. Look at the transitional zones between different types of habitat and the corridors between them. They're the most rich when it comes to wildlife conservation.